question. Someone please answer it. Does Hanlon Video make a DVD on how to actually drive a T5? I mean, I know we gotta rebuild them. Can we actually drive them? Ah! <laughs> and stuff out of pro stock and put in this car and all stuff so that's a lot of work still got to fix this transmission anyway so i'm gonna pull the a5 out open it up fix the shift fork go ahead and put a new synchro <laughs> while i'm in there and third probably put one in fourth two or i say a new one one that's good enough for me um see what's going on uh, stick it back in and see where we're at. If I have problems with it again, I'm pulling it all out, pulling all of it out. And I'm going to take everything that's in pro stock and I'm going to put it in this car, transmission wise, clutch, everything, putting in this car. I don't want to do that because technically I don't want this car, then I would have to change the gear back to put a regular t5 in it and i just i got so much work to do to this car anyway i'm trying to kind of balance out the projects and the workload um i mean i 
only really want to work on this one right now, but I know at some point in time I'm going to want to work on Pro Stock. I'm going to want to work on Silver Car. I'm going to want to work on Rob Zombie. I'm going to want to work on Trojan. I know myself, that's how it's going to go. But right now, the only car that I want to work on is McNugget. But I also don't want to uh, start cannibalizing Pro Stock again without a real plan, or I'd say again, cannibalizing him without having a real plan to have him back going in a reasonable amount of time. Since we're going to leave this car, EFI, and we're going to have Pro Stock carbureted, the fail TD I don't want to do anything to. I'm happy with the car the way it is. I really don't want to do anything to it. Um, and sometime this winter, I want to bring it back out. I've got a couple tiny little modifications I want to do to it just to see if I can run like a 649 or something like that. And then I'm just going to just leave it alone or whatever. I don't know. But it's, I don't want to do, I can't make that car any lighter in a way than it is to an extent. And therefore, it'll never technically be really faster. So, anyway, whatever. I do too much talking as it is. Um, but it's just so you guys will have answers to questions. What the hell is he doing? So, what I'm doing. So, I'm going to pull this transmission out. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to stick it back in. I think I was, I think the first time I really had, it was a combination clutch, just wasn't adjusted quite right. Some clutches just have to be, in my opinion, the ones that I, just have to be right on point with the adjustment when I first put the a5 in the blue dragon back in 2008 or 9 I think it was the end of 2008 I put it in I had a Anderson high rev clutch in it and when I first put it in you would have thought I'd never driven a stick shift car I mean you would have thought I'd never driven one. I missed gears on the street I was and then it was just, I had this clutch adjustment was just off on maybe some other T5. It would have been fine. I don't know. I didn't think it was that, but it was off. And once I got it tightened up, then it started working great. Now I'm not saying that was A5's fault. I'm just saying clutch. And I put 500 passes, roughly 500 passes on that clutch. Um, before I finally, it just finally just died. I mean, it just, I burned it up. It was just, I, I mean, plenty of, uh, using the clutch to bump in on the line lock. I mean, I did that a lot back in the day before I started a YouTube channel. Um, so I was not nice to that clutch, technically speaking. Um, but anyway, my point is, is that that clutch, if it got a little bit out of adjustment, it was funky or whatever. So maybe this may be like that. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to give it another shot, get it all put together. Give it another shot. Before we can get it put together, we got to take it apart. So, that's racing. That's cars. I know I have been getting my butt kicked here lately, but that happens, you know. I'm, I'm hoping that by the time the fall gets here, winter, we'll have some stuff squared away on the cars, and we're just going to go out and kick a bunch of ass and make a bunch of passes and have a bunch of fun. And, uh, you know, we just got to get through the dog days. So... Let me get the old trusty Harbor Freight low, low profile out. Get the green jack stand and put the thing up to get the transmission out. I like to have the transmission out and have it on the bench before Teresa gets home. So, tick tock. Booyah! So tasty, so tasty. You ever have that sense of deja vu? This, this is a lot like it. Except immensely worse because it's actually happening again. Uh. Uh. Tell you what, it ain't gonna be long. We are not gonna have to have any thread locker on these because, uh, you know, there's so much old stuff in there. Whoops. Ooh oh my God. Hand puppet sprung a leak. Or he's went swimming. What are you doing, dude? It's hot today. D-shaft is out. Now let's get shifter out. 
we got the cross members only out. You know, we had that jacket back when we were young. And you were cool if you had one. Don't say you weren't. I want to thank my homeboy, Lance. I have embraced the impact. It makes things, the videos aren't any shorter, but the work happens quicker. So. Here we go. Now let me get this uh, in the shop. And, uh, throw some plastic over this thing so it don't melt in the rain if it rains but it always looks like it's gonna rain so let me go put this in the shop Ugh. see you guys in a minute what's up as snug as a bug in a rug all right guys this is gonna be a wrap for this episode of t5 food theater in our next exciting episode, we're gonna see exactly how much damage Liu Kang Ting Puck did to our uh, A5 here. But never fear, never fear. We shall succeed, we shall overcome, we shall conquer. We sh it's personal, we're gonna get McNugget, it's gonna be ready to go. Um, also, someone made a comment asking if this was a talk show. Uh, I have found that talking is one of the better ways to communicate um, to people, especially if they're not there, where you can, you know, where they are close enough to actually read your mind or diagnose your, your body language or technically read your lips if you have your back to them. So, yes, I do talk on the channel. That's part of it. Um, but, yeah, so if I, if I talk too much, well, you know, you don't got to lie. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, I do talk a lot, but whatever. Uh, <clears throat> make your own channel where there's no talking. That'd be cool. Um, so yeah, we're fixing to tear it. We're going to tear it down. Of course, it's going to be broken, shift fork. And then we're going to do, we're going to fix it. We're going to put it back in and we're going to live a better life. We're going to drive it. It's going to shift great. And we're just going to be like ready to go conquer the world. Um, that would be nice. But, uh, anyway, thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Um, thanks for all the ways you guys support the channel. Um, couldn't do it with, without you and wouldn't want to. I mean, all the comments and positivity and stuff. You know, you guys hanging with us. <laughs> while, we, while we are working our way to the front of the struggle bus. Um, but especially... Uh-oh. Where's my glasses at? Oh, hell. Especially, thanks for watching. And until next time of the substandard leader in Fox Body Videos. One year only Lincoln's four drag vans on always fighting a good fight against Dr. Fear and stay in school, listen to your mom, eat your vegetables. You'll grow up to be just like me. We'll see you guys next video.